and welcome back to my glass studio. Um, this is the second part of making this beautiful snake. I did finish it. The other YouTube video will be probably posted next week. Um, I'm sorry for not posting it last week. I got a little hectic and busy. Um, so this video is about grinding and foiling uh, this gorgeous little guy. So here is a quick view of the supplies I uh, personally use in this video. It's what um, I use for making all my pieces. Um, so the first is this studio or this uh, Griffon, I want to say, studio grinder. It needs cleaned, but um, as you see, I have this bit. It is a eighth or fourth of an inch big and then I have my standard one on the bottom if you can see that and uh, all you do is fill this chamber right here up with water and then the water flows to the uh, grinder bits to keep them wet and cool while I am grinding then I use this handy dandy lamp it is a magnifier and it turns on but it's a little wonky it's really old and then I use for my foil, I use these foils, but for this one in particular, I used the standard, I I don't know uh, what the height or the width is, I'll put that um, somewhere up here, most likely. Um, but I used back black backed uh, foil, and there are three different kinds of foil. There's well, there's more than three, but there is copper backed, silver backed, and black back. Black back is what I recommend for beginners, um, just because it is easier to stick. Some of the copper and silver foils do um, do stick a little weird, so it's that I just personally recommend black uh, foil. That's what I like to use, and then I also use uh, where is it at? I use this, I don't know where he's at, this guy, it is a burnish, a fid is the technical term, but you can, it also is called a burnisher, I mostly use this flat side right here, and once you lay the foil on top, I'll get into it, but this just helps burnish uh, the foil down, and then you can also use, there's a flat part right there, you can also use that, but I just prefer this. And as you can see, there's a little divot starting to create, so I might have to get a new one of those soon. Uh, but that is basically all that I use to grind and uh, foil, and I'll let you get into the video. So here I am grinding down the pieces of the snake head first. I just wanted to see how my grinder was doing, if it needed more water. Um, it was actually doing really well. So um, I use... I'll be getting this little tool out soon and it's a it's just to help hold the pieces so I don't uh, scuff up my nails and cut my fingers with the grinder there it is it just holds it's like a little clamp and it holds the piece um, so I'm able to grind it without it um, hurting my fingers um, the grinder I use is from glass star and then I have the original bit I also got an eighth bit you can see on the top um, and it just helps with smaller grinding down smaller pieces uh, also.
All right, so and after I'm done grinding all the pieces, I rinse them in a bucket of water and that just helps get off some of the glass dust. And I take my towel and I just wipe down every piece and then I will eventually go in with rubbing alcohol. And unfortunately, after I did this, my uh, camera went super blurry for the foiling part, so I wasn't able to catch any of that. And I apologize, um, I'll do another video about foiling, it just was very, you couldn't see it at all, so there was no point of including it. <laughs> So to get it ready to solder, I'm going to place tape all over so it does not move around and it uh, so it's easier to foil on the other side. Um, I also am including a lead cam around it instead of just foil so that'll be um, so I'll just have to cut off some of the excess uh, tape so I'm able to get the cam around it. Um, but yeah, this is about it before foil or before soldering and uh, just enjoy the tape process. the tape is placed I am able to pick it up and swing it around probably not a good idea but I was just picking it up to show you guys how it all sticks together and how it will look before soldering have a good day thank you for watching